What's up guys and welcome back to On The Brick with another custom LEGO review. Once again, I do need to apologize for not being able to put out the Zeta class this week. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably saw what happened to it, because even though it looks like it's nothing too serious, it's actually not an easy fix. But if I can't fix it by next week, then I'll just be reviewing it in the state that it's in. But today, I have for you the minifig scale Vulture Droid designed and sold by Brickfall. This set contains 262 pieces, and it does come in two different color variations, but I chose to go with the Separatist slash Clone Wars colors. When it is in its upright position, you can see that it is just over 5 inches wide and sits at about six and a half inches tall. When the wings are in their closed position, they're only about two inches long, and after opening them up and fixing this, uh, trying to put it back together here, you can see that it's about two and a half inches when they're open. I'll talk about that, don't worry. Because this is actually a really nice set. It's a lot nicer than I honestly expected it to be. And one of the first things you can do is move its head around. It can lay flush against the rest of the body, but you can pop it up, and that is thanks to the use of this ball joint. It allows for easy mobility in placing the head, and you can move the head, but just don't do it like I did here. If you do it properly, you can spin the head around 360 degrees without any problems. I'm not sure if actual Voltal Droids can do that, but there's nothing stopping you. And like I said, you can fit the head pretty snug against the body, and when it's in that position, it's not going to go anywhere. I also really love how they did this head in general, including the use of these red bricks to represent the eyes. If LEGO ever makes trans red wedges, I'll probably replace them in this head. If you've been watching my channel for a while, then you know that I absolutely love the snot technique. I know there are a lot of people who prefer to see the studs, but I personally like when it's smooth like this, and I think Brickfall did a really nice job putting this together. There are some really interesting techniques used that do make this a tiny bit fragile, but once it's all put together, it will hold. And part of that is in thanks to these two plates underneath. They do serve another purpose that I'll go into later, but they also help hold the body together. While the wings look simple, I can promise you they're anything but. I do like the use of the ski pieces at the end to represent the guns, and the way that they represented the missile launchers in the middle here. You can absolutely keep them together like you see here, or if you want it to be in walking or flight mode, you can very carefully move them apart. One downside that I should mention at this point is that literally every single time I've done this, these ski pieces will just fall off. There's not really a better way to support them on there, nor is it hard at all to put them back on, so it's not really that big of an inconvenience, but I do need to mention it. But as I said, you can absolutely separate these legs, and when they are open, you can see how they hold together. There's a stud on the top here, and a hole on the bottom, and on the opposite side, it's reversed, allowing them to connect together, and do so in a way that while strong, is not super super strong, making it hard to pull apart. This is a very simple mechanism that works extremely well, even if those ski pieces are going to try to stop you. However, you do want to be careful when opening these, especially Especially when it comes to these curved pieces here. If you open up the legs and there goes another ski piece, you really don't want to push this too far as it will pop right on off like this and bust open that curved area. It's actually not very hard to know what the limit is. It has happened a few times, but I do want to point out it's also not hard at all to get these into a proper flight configuration as you can see on the other side. Just be really careful your first time opening these and you'll be able to feel where they should stop very easily. And if you do break it off, thankfully it is incredibly easy to pop it right back in and fix the set. When you buy the Volta Droid, it does include the parts list for a stand like this. Full disclosure, it should be fully black, I just used some of the pieces I already owned. And while it absolutely is nice and simple, I do think it needs to be just a little bit bigger, as in all honesty, it is just not very stable. You just connect the stand to those two plates on the underside of the body, and full credit, you can easily get it to stay just like this, no problem at all. But if I nudge it ever so slightly, you'll see that it's going to fall, and it just won't want to hold anymore. 
Again, it's fully possible to pose this on this stand, but like I said, it's just not stable enough for my liking. If you're going to put this in an incredibly stable place, then it should be fine. But if you have pets like I do or kids who are going to bump into things, I wouldn't really recommend keeping it on the stand. And thankfully, you don't have to because it can stand on its own. Also, here is the Vulture Droid next to a normal Battle Droid so you can see the scale. And here it is next to my first order TIE Fighter, which is almost about twice its size. And let me bring in this Jedi Interceptor so you can compare it to that as well, as they are much closer in size. Here is Brick Vault's gunship that is also minifig scale and probably my favorite build of theirs. And lastly, of course, I had to very carefully bring in the Naboo Starfighter. And I actually think I will build a tan version of the Vulture Droid just to go with it. So in the end, I would actually highly recommend this set. If you are a fan of the Vulture Droid or just want to expand your Separatist army, I would 100% recommend getting it. And you can do so at the link in the descriptions down below. And let me know your thoughts on this or any of Brick Vault's sets in the comments down below. Please do remember to like this video if you liked what you saw and subscribe if you haven't already. This channel is only possible thanks to the continued support of people people like my patrons. Signing up for only a dollar a month really helps that go a long way, and you can get shoutouts like Jonathan and Jaden. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you next time.